Hello guys. Okay, I've been in this apartment for about two weeks now. Um, I still have no furniture. I have no need for it, no desire to get any. My father will be moving in in a couple weeks and he'll bring his. Um, but as this project comes to an end, as the research part of the project came to an end, I started to realize that there's a major correlation in um, depression with everybody that I talk to. The people that are out there, even the people that are out there intentionally, have given up on some aspect of their life. They have decided to cling to a certain point in their past and seem to refuse to move on. Many of them cope with it, with drug addiction, alcoholism. Others, like me, just decide to pack up and run. Let's get real. Um, we all do it. We all we all deal with grief in our own ways, and that grief can be destructive in our lives. I ended up putting a lot behind me when I was living in my car. I couldn't deal with how my ex-wife decided to just up and leave um, years later. I couldn't deal with how an ex-girlfriend decided to just abort our child and and have no remorse about it. I couldn't deal with a lot of things. Um, before I decided to live in my car, I was basically going from one relationship to another and not making a go of any of them because I was broken. And this seems to be really the summary of what I've figured out out there. It's not a homeless problem. It is displacement. It is disassociation. Homelessness is a symptom. But just about everybody out there, including myself, have abandonment issues. Mine started with a divorce and my grandfather dying, my grandmother dying within the same same year. Um, I ended up losing an entire unit in combat and then just about every relationship that I ever ever tried to have failed for one reason or another and I just broke down so with that in mind I want to point out that well I'm going I'm going to point out a reference in Job the first chapter of Job Job 
God is walking through heaven with with Satan. This is after Michael forced him down with one third of the angels to earth. So the king of the earth who is vanished from heaven is walking among the angels and God walking alongside God in heaven and makes a bet with the supreme creator that Job can be turned. And God God agrees that he can try. So, a lot of people overlook the very fact that Satan is walking among the angels after he was vanished from heaven. There is a school of thought that that the demons are actually working for God. That they are commissioned to create such a hardship in somebody's life that they or that that person is forced back onto the path of righteousness. Forced back to God. Now, this is kind of controversial. The um, the theology is kind of shared by the Mormons in that in that the reason that Satan was I hate those notifications. The reason that Satan was um, forced down earth in the first place was because he didn't agree with God's plan to give give humans dominion over their own free will. But at the same time, it's right there in the scriptures with with Job and all the hardships that Job went through. He's still turning to God. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. But I'm also going to... I'm going to play two songs um, from the same era that talk about the same subject from two different points of view. One of them, the guy ends up being a tramp after giving up on life. And the other one, the survivors of a shipwreck refused to give up on the boat and work and pay for out of their own pocket to raise the boat and salvage it. This in itself is a metaphor for Christ working in our lives. Well, anyway, I'm Anthony Antolik. This is Anarchy in Power. And without change, we really cannot cannot continue to live. A pond has no life. Algae forms and 
stars the rest of a life. <sighs> I don't know where I was going with that. It'll probably be ended out. But, okay. <laughs>